Brent Porcy of topvelocity.net. Do a pitch analysis here at Cade. We're going to pair him up with a Japanese pitcher named Asao. Take them both into their leg lifts. Okay. Similar leg lifts. Let's say Asao gets a little bit more inside drive leg, just a little bit more maybe. Coming out of leg lift, he uses Asao really takes that momentum forward and down at the same rate. So if you watch coming out of leg lift, if I drew a line right here, he, he comes down pretty aggressive down that line uh, and keeps that extended lift leg and stays closed pretty hard. If we take Cade out, Cade doesn't, he, he comes down, but the force vector is the issue. He's coming down in too much just flexion and not linear enough uh, towards the target. So if we look at the force vector angles, 51 degrees to 70 degrees. So what this is, this is causing is that the vector, which is the ankle to knee, is pointing pointing up at his hips. So it's not allowing him to get into this lower linear position. So he needs to carry, he needs to carry more of his energy forward and not so much down to this position. So he's got him in this position where the hips are cocked back, the direction of the front hip is shooting somewhere up as opposed to the sow is shooting somewhere more linear and the force vector is more linear. So when he goes to open and drive back leg, which he does perfectly last minute, you see it opens up into that long stride and you can see, hey, he's in a position here where he can't really drive. So you see him opening, just opening front foot. You don't see the back leg really driving the hips through like we see here with the sow with this really great open hip position. So that force vector angle, that 20 degree difference was huge for Sal to get his hips more open, more uh, ground force power towards the target. So Cade here hitting front foot and the hips aren't as open. We see, you know, we can see this, the pocket of Sal's pants, that the pocket of uh, Cade's pants is more back towards say short stuff. Also too, Sal, even more in the close shoulder orientation, you can see slight opening here from Kate. So it just did a better job of getting optimizing hip to shoulder separation uh, for a sow. Uh, and then from there, I mean, Kate's doing a good job of, of, with these mechanics. Th that's just the, a key issue that wasn't done well enough to really get a more optimal result. So Kate then goes into shoulder uh, rotation and then you're going to see kind of those angles showing back up again. Look at this, you know, somewhere around 45 and then Cade somewhere around, you know, 60, uh, you know, close to a 20 degree difference, similar to the force vector because that force vector is where the power is initiated because it's the only leg on the ground. So if the power is initiated in this direction, then force continues to push in that direction. The power is initiated more in this direction, then force continues to push in that direction. And I think uh, that's a perfect example of it. But K does a great job getting front leg extended and pitch release. Very similar release, but once again, you're going to see a big angle difference here um, at the end. So similar, it, it, it looks like it was improving a little bit more for K. Um, but but not enough to be the similar uh, linear perspective, the linear drive, the linear power generation that Asao is doing so well to really transfer all of his energy in his body directly, perfectly, precisely towards the target.